Alright. Once again, I'm using the Professional to prime my face. This time I got my stand going on, y'all. Hopefully the lighting in here is a little better. Use a natural light today. Save electricity. Uh, I went to Sephora this weekend. And I got me some free samples. And this is... Born This Way. And it's in light beige. And I tried this once before. But this was before I started YouTube. I have my Real Techniques blender. And I need my little brush. But I don't know where it is. So, we're just going to... Dip my finger in there and just apply this to my face and see how it wears throughout the day. I also have um, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea and another one through Tarte. And I think it's like the Amazonian clay one, which I'm pretty excited to wear, to wear and try out through the day. And I'm just gonna put this on and see how it goes. I've tried this once before and I loved it. It was really good coverage. Um, it stayed on my face actually all day and where I work it's like really hot because, well, I work with old people and I love them, but good Lord, they, they keep their rooms like a hundred and, a hundred and some degrees. Watching them wear sweaters makes me hot. <laughs> but what can you do? Love what you do. You never work a day in your life. So, I really, really like this. I always have. Um, I love the coverage. It's very creamy. But it's also, like, a nice, thick consistency. They say the mascara to face better than sex is actually really good. I've never tried that before. I actually really need to go to Sephora and get that and try it out for y'all. Um, if there are any videos that y'all would like to see um, with any foundation or... Anything, you know, that you can think of that you would like to see, let me know. Um, put it in my comments, and um, I will definitely pick that up for you. And I will definitely give you a nice video on it. Um, this foundation actually blends out really, really nice. Um, if you don't know your shade, just go to Sephora and or anywhere and, um, you know, ask them to match you. The 9 out of 10 match it to your neck, which is what... Um, the person that Sephora did for me. Shout out to Sephora and Lynchburg. Y'all are doing wonderful. They're always so friendly and, like, I don't have anything bad to ever say about any of them because they're so nice and even if you're, like, one of those really, like, well, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. I'm so scared. I, blah, blah, blah. You know, some people are just really like that and that's okay, you know. I completely understand where y'all are coming from. Because I would definitely be that same way. I mean, you don't want to buy something and not like it. And of course, you know, you can always say, like, I love free samples. Free samples aren't just like, I don't know. I mean, you don't want to buy something and not like it. And, or it not be what you wanted. Because, you know, not everybody's skin is perfect. Like, I have oily skin, so I have to make sure what I put on is going to be good for oily skin. My mirror is actually right behind my phone, so I'm just kind of looking in both right here. And as you can tell, like, it's very, like, flawless. It's very natural looking. It's not orange. It's not too yellow. I mean, everybody's skin has a different undertone. Some people are you know, combination oily. Some people are really dry. So you gotta try and find, like, a really good foundation for you. But also, a good setting powder helps, too. Um, you know, you learn a lot, because you can have the oiliest skin in the world, and then on your forehead have, like, texture and dry patches, and you're like, man, I don't want that to cling on anything. You know, you don't want your foundation to look like, uh, it just clings to everything on your face. It's not okay. Who wants that? Um, before I do my neck, I'm going to put some concealer on my, uh, under my eye. Which you don't have to conceal. I just like to. Actually, I don't even really need it with this foundation. Um, it's actually really, 
I mean, it's... I don't have no bags right now. Like, I have a little acne going on on my upper lip. It's really, really little. But that's okay. Today, I'm going to go a little crazy with concealer, but that's okay. We all like, a, we all need a little crazy. It's Monday. And I am actually painting this beauty blender with my finger. Because I want to make sure I get enough on my neck. I'm glad I got makeup wipes, remover wipes right here. All right, so I'm just gonna tilt my head up, buff it around my jaw, and then my neck. Once again, this is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Foundation is Born This Way, and it's in the shade Light Beige. I've tried this once before, and I actually told my mom about it and got my mom hooked on it, too. She loves it, and my mom also, her job is very, like, on the go. So, you know, when you're on the go and you really just want a good foundation that's not going to move, this is it. Like, I don't know. I've worn it, and the day that I did wear it, it did not move. It was very nice. It's not heavy. Like, mm, when I say heavy, I mean, like, it's not cakey. Like, I mean, it's obvious that there's foundation, but it's very breathable. Like, it really makes your skin look like you were born this way. The name, in my opinion, the name is very true as to what it is. Um, and I'm using my... NARS Concealer in Vanilla. I love it. Um, I will be having other videos up Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Um, if you watch these videos, please like and subscribe to them. And leave comments. Please, positive ones. Once again, I think a damp beauty blender works really nice. Um, if you like, prefer a brush, that's fine too. Um, makeup, makeup is whatever you are most comfortable with, you know? Um, oh, and this is the brush I used, in, I was talking about in the last video. It's like a flat spatula brush. I don't know, I call it the paddle brush because it looks like a paddle. Like, a spatula almost. Um, and I will be picking up my phone in just a minute to kind of bring you in a little closer to my face. We're going to be up close and personal today, y'all. Today, Ooh. Um, once again, in my opinion, it sits really, really nice. This foundation sits so nice on my skin. Um... And I'm just kind of blotting around to make sure everything is blended nicely. Um, 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 um. When you don't know what to say, you just say, um. This foundation is so beautiful. Like... Granted, the light from behind me is still peeking through. And on my upper lip, it's a little. Let me just blend that around real quick. Disregard my little baby hair sticking to my forehead. Um, In my opinion, this makeup does not transfer when I get hot and sweaty. Which I'm actually kind of hot right now. I just got out of the shower, like... 10 minutes ago, so I'm just kind of like, <sighs> whatever. Anyways, but like, as you can see on my nose, like, it's not majorly cakey, which I actually missed a spot, but that's okay. I'll fix that. Here is the other side of my nose. It's not very cakey. My upper lip is still a little messed up right now. Actually, there's a hair on my upper lip. Either that's a hair It is a hair. It wasn't one of mine. Told you. Mm. 
but in my face, like my cheeks over here, it's really nice. It's not cakey looking. It's not heavy. I feel like my skin is breathing. Um, I actually really just love this foundation. But I wanted to get some samples from Sephora anyways because I love going to Sephora. I love getting free samples. I love trying out things. And now that I have a YouTube channel, I don't mind trying out things. But I also want y'all to understand that the reason that I'm doing these is because I'm not going to tell you something or recommend something that I wouldn't buy myself with my own money. If I would have gotten paid <laughs> instead of the 5th or the 20th like I do every month, I would have bought this foundation that day. But you got to do what you got to do. As long as your bills are paid, you're good. Which, no one likes to be an adult and talk about bills and stuff, but hey, it's life. Everybody's got them. Just kind of making sure everything's blended around. Um, if you don't have a concealer and you do try this foundation, it's probably okay. I mean, unless you really have, like, major acne or you really just need to spot conceal for something. Which, I mean, I actually have a pimple on my chin right here. But it's, I mean, I don't even see it really and I'm not being funny, but... I mean, I, I know where it is on my face, but from far away, you wouldn't see it. Up close, you can see it. But I also have one right here, like, beside my Cupid's bow right here where my pinky is. It's covered. I mean, you honestly don't even need concealer with this foundation. But, I mean, it's all based on your preference. I mean, if you're baking and you're doing, like, the whole nine yards... I seriously recommend this foundation, or if, even if you're just going to work like I am, I still honestly very much recommend this foundation. Um, but I'm going to do a wear test, so actually throughout the day, I'll be tuning in to just let y'all know how it's wearing, and let you know my thoughts on it still. Right now, my thoughts are, it's beautiful, I love it, and this is my setting powder. It is, once again, the L'Oreal Hydro Perfect. And it's in translucent. I have some right here in the top. And I'm just making sure there's nothing on my brush. Um, honestly, I still am going to set any foundation I put on. Because in order to give it the best shot, you have to treat it as if you've been using this foundation forever. Just because it's a high-end one. Which, actually, I think it's... $39.37. Um, goodness, I can't remember. But, you know, if you're doing a first impression on anything, like a high-end foundation, or you do a little sample like I do, I mean, like, that's the sample. I mean, it's actually got a ton of product in it. Like, it had enough for my, my face, my neck, and then there's still some left over. So, I mean, you're getting enough to test it for... A few days. Now, the first day that I tested it, I didn't know how much I needed. So, I kind of used all of it. But that was okay. And I was like, oops. So, I'm not doing that this time. Um, because now I know you really don't need a lot. Because it, a lot, you know, a little goes a long way. That saying is very true. Especially with this. Um, tomorrow, we will be testing out either... The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea or the Amazon Amazon Clay. Anybody want to pick which one we do tomorrow? Leave a comment. Subscribe. Like, please. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Um, but once again, sorry, I had a little ADH moment, but that's okay. We all have them. Um, my thing is. Though, if you're giving a foundation, you know, a first impression, treat it like you would one of your holy grails. Like, my holy grail is still sitting over here on the counter beside me. But treat it like you would a normal foundation that you've worn forever. You know, you, you're going to sit your powder. You're not just going to be like, okay, my foundation's on and then just go out. No. Especially if you have oily skin or dry skin. You don't want things like, um... Attaching to, you know, your dry patches or anything. Sorry, my mirror is, like, right here, so I'm just looking in it to make sure. 
let me back up and stop, stop getting so personal with y'all. Y'all might not like that too much, but that's okay. And I just want to make sure it's nice and this powder is nice and on the skin. And in order to test how well things blend with this product, we're going to do what we normally do, like contour and highlight and bronzer and stuff. Actually, I'm not going to do contour today just because it's kind of muggy outside. So I'm actually not going to do a contour today because I want to see, you know, I don't need contour every day. I don't know. I might. I'm very spontaneous. I change my mind so easily. I feel like this is... There's a spot on my skin, and I can't tell if it's just the light or what's going on. So I'm going to look in the little closer mirror and see what's going on. This is my Urban Decay, which I really don't like this powder at all. No, it's just the lighting, like... I'll pick you up and let you look at my face a little closer in just a minute. I've got a fuzz in my eyebrow. But that's okay. Friends, they keep me company at night. Um, I'm probably just going to bronze and blush my face. I don't know. I might not even do blush. Some days I just have my lazy days where I throw my hair up on top of my head. Hello, do you see this hair? This is, I just got out of the shower. I'm getting ready for work hair. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you know, you don't always have to have your hair done every, every day looking nice. And I will bring you in close. This is my face. Hi. Some days I'm pretty. Some days I'm just too cute. This is my forehead. It looks so nice and so beautiful. Like, this foundation is gorgeous. My lip. Up my nose. You can see my septum. On my nose. I mean, it's not clinging to anything. It just looks so pretty. So pretty. Um, the powder on top of it actually blended wonderfully. Like, I mean, it blended so easily. I thought there was, like, a patch of, like, dry skin or something it was clinging to. It wasn't. It was just the light. Go figure. Lights do a lot. But, I mean, I'm just using my natural light. I'm not going to use any interesting, like, high-end light right now. Just because I'm still starting. So, I want to kind of just, you know, I want to want people to understand you can be from a small little town like I am. And still make nice YouTube videos. And this is my bronzer through the... Physician's Formula. It's called Butter Bronzer. Look at this cute little package. Isn't it adorable? Love it. Um, this is actually one of those, like, really... It's not orange at all. Like, it's really... It's just, like, perfect color. Like, I mean, it'll give you, like, a nice hue of... I don't even know how to describe this for... I haven't even figured it out yet. It's... It's just beautiful. It smells so good. It doesn't make you orange... It doesn't cake you. Um, it just blends so pretty. It's, I don't know. It's one of, it's the best, um, best bronzer I've ever used. I've used plenty of them. And I actually used one through the same f formula, same brand. And um, it actually made me orange. Like, I was, I'm not even playing. I was as orange as this dirty Real Techniques blender, beauty blender right here. I was orange. Um, that did not go well. At all. No, ma'am. Um, this one is actually in the shade Light Bronzer. So, I think they have, like, two other shades of it. I'm using this little mirror right here just so I can look at my face a little closer. Um, I loved, love, 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 love this bronzer. Like, I cannot express to you enough. If you don't blend it down your neck, I mean, it's not going to give you, like, a striking orange line. Um... It just smells so good. It works so nice. Um, it sits so pretty on your skin. Even if you're not a bronzer person and you would like 
want to try one. I got this at Walmart. It was like $14. I mean, and that's not bad for a bronzer, especially, which, honestly, anything that you're paying for, high-end, you're paying for the brand. You're paying for what it looks like in the bottle. You're paying for the brand. Um, honestly, you're paying for a name. Like, and, and I'm not saying anything bad about that. Like, that's nothing wrong with it. I mean, but... You gotta know, like, some products honestly are worth what they say they are, and then some aren't. You're always paying for a name. Always. And I'm gonna bring you in a little closer to see my face. See, it's like, it doesn't even honestly register that there's a bronzer, but I mean, you can kind of see, like, the nice golden tone. Um, and it smells really good. I would bathe in this if I could find out what it, what kind of, it's, I don't even know how to pronounce the name of the butter in it, so I'm not even going to try to. I'm cute, but I'm not that cute. And for my eyes today, well, I don't know. Do I want to do my eyes first or my, I'll do my blush real quick. I'm using, once again, the CoverGirl Instant Cheek Bounce. And I believe these are peach toned. I don't think they're rose. I think they're peach. This is my Sephora Angled Brush, once again. Love this brush. It does everything. My mirror is right behind you, so I'm just putting it right on my cheekbone. I'm not doing as much as I normally would do. I'm just going to give it a little subtle little glow right now. And I can kind of show you how things are blending. Like, there's no sh um, sp splotchy patches or anything on my skin. I mean, my skin just looks so nice. Which is a good thing. You want to make sure, like, what you buy really knows how to... Not knows how to, but, like, blends nicely on your skin with other products. Like, your contour, your blush, your highlighter. um, Anything, honestly. Always prime your face, y'all. It helps so much. Um, if you got big pores, the professional is one of the best for me that I've noticed. I don't really have big pores, but I have oily skin. And this is like the... It says it's a matte rescue right here. And it really is. It keeps me matte like all day long. Or you can use a setting spray. This is the Urban Decay one. And it's the D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. So, oil-free... Oh, Oil-free, paraben-free, temperature control technology. And this is actually a four point, a four fluid ounce bottle. So, I mean, which actually isn't much bigger than the foundation bottle that I use. It's a little bit bigger, but not much. This stuff works really good. It'll keep your makeup on all day. Um... For the highlight, we're going to do Jeffree Star Siberian Gold today, just because it's like a beautiful champagne. Uh, I don't know. The color's beautiful. I just, I'm in love with these things. When I bought them, I was like so excited. I opened them up and I put them on my arm and the pigment was beautiful. Actually, I'll show you what the pigment looks like on my finger. Oh, my God. That's Siberian Gold, which is what we're using today. It's like a soft champagne color. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. This is Ice Cold. In case anybody's never seen these, I actually order these offline. That's Ice Cold. Some people say they're kind of chunky. I actually don't have a problem with them being chunky. I love them. I think they're gorgeous. This is the Peach. That's Peach. And then through the Summer Chrome collection that he has. I love, 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 love this one. This one is Crystal Ball. And there's Ice Cold and Crystal Ball are not the same. They are completely different. Crystal Ball has like a pink pearl undertone. Peach, it's pretty peach. I mean, it's pretty obvious. This one is more like um a striking white like, beautiful. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. 
And this is Siberian Gold, which is like the champagne color. These are what they look like. They're so beautiful. Love, love, love. When you put them on, I mean, it's just like you blind people with these things. And I love it. Like, whenever people ask me, you know, oh, what's on your, what, what kind of highlight do you use? Jeffree Star. Like, I mean, you pay for what you get. I think these were $29. I mean, and literally, these things are, like, the size of your head. Like, I mean, this thing is huge. And, I mean, it's a huge pan. Like, you pay for what you get. Like, I mean, it's huge. And it's got these, you know, it's got his cool logo in it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Whenever people ask me, oh, what's a good highlight, Jeffree Star? I'm not sponsored or anything, but I will definitely give credit where credit is given. Jeffree Star has amazing highlights. Love, love, love. And I take the same brush that I did my blah, 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 that I used for my blush. And I get a little bit of Siberian Gold on there. I know it's, this one's a little harder to see because of, it's the champagne color, but... It's right there. I know. Yeah, you can see that because I can see it. Sorry, I'm shaking so bad. <sighs> and I'm just looking in his little mirror that comes with these highlighted little mirror. This ain't no little mirror. This is a big mirror. I love it. Let me... If you ever get too much, just kind of shake it off because there's a lot of pigment in these things. One thing I do love about the Siberian Gold one is, I mean, it's so easily seen, but it's so pretty, like, you see that, like, glitter right there on my temple? This one's a little s more subtle, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, can't talk today. Um, if you want to make sure, like, you know, you blend it out really nice and make sure it's not, like, cakey or anything, just take, this is actually a Bamboo Naturals brush that my mom gave me from Walmart. Um, it came in, like, a big pack, and she wound up actually giving me all the brushes. See, it's not nearly, I mean, it's still pigmented, which I love, because we all need a little pigment in our life. All right, I'm going to do my eyes now, and there are actually, I thought I had two, but I don't. I'm going to use the Big Colossal shot still. Um, I'm probably going to wind up getting this all over my eyelid like I always do, but that's okay, because I'll clean it up. And then I will set my, I will set my face. And I'm using my Urban Decay makeup right now. My mirror, the little mirror right now, just to see my eyes, because I can't, for me, applying mascara is too hard to do when you're looking in a mirror like that. I can't do it. I'll poke myself in the eye, like, several times. Mountain Dew. Oh, uh, give me strength. And my eyes are done. Like, that stuff has so much volume in it, and I don't wear a lot. But, I mean, if you cake, if you like to cake on mascara and cake it on, your eyelashes are going to be like tarantula legs after you're done with this. Which, honestly, Drugstore has, like, amazing. I love Drugstore. I love drugstore foundation, period. Like, some things are a bomb. And then some things, not so much. But it's a drugstore. What do you expect? All depends. This is the Urban Decay D Slick. Once again, it's for oil face. Oil face. That's not nice. Oil control. So I'm just gonna... I like a lot. I really do. You're supposed to only do two to four times. No, hunty. We're going to do about six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then sometimes. Remember that. Now, if you can see my face, it's a little... Look like I just ran through, like, a shower sprinkler. But that's okay. I like it because it really does what it says. And we're going to let this dry. I'm going to go clean up my eye. And I'll be back and do my lips. <laughs> 